I've lived in Kodiak, Alaska for six years now. And in those six years, I've learned a lot about what I need and don't need to survive the Alaskan wilderness. And in this video, I'm gonna give you eight everyday carry items that I always have on me when I'm out in the wilderness of Alaska. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris Luckenbach. I'm a photographer and videographer here in beautiful Kodiak, Alaska, home of the world's largest brown bear species. Okay, so most of these items are pretty much within arm's reach. And I'm gonna just start out with uh, the obvious here. If you're anywhere in Alaska, and this goes for anywhere really that has wildlife, especially bears, uh, you're gonna want some bear spray. You know, some people might have a different opinion and they want a gun or something, that's up to them. Uh, I think bear spray is the most effective for deterring a bear away from you. Definitely number one on the list anytime I'm out here, especially in Kodiak where we have bears roaming around year round. We are in February right now. This is actually the only month I've never seen a bear, but uh, someone just posted some bear tracks the other day. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's one that walks up to me right now. If you wanna learn a little more about bear spray and bears, click this video right here. I call that Joe Rogan was wrong about bears or whatnot. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good video and pretty informative for you guys on how to use the bear spray and when to use it and you know, a little information about bears. So let's put this back where it is. This backpack I'm using is the Shimoda Action X50 V2. I just got it a couple months ago and I really like it. It is really, really nice. It holds all my camera gear and my FPV drone, plus my regular drone. No issues, it fits on a plane as well. Let's go to the next thing. Actually, I got two things on one clip here. Let's get it up. This here is paracord. Now, you must be thinking, what the heck do you use this for? There's actually tons of uses, and I think the most important would be, in a pinch, you can use it as a tourniquet if you get a pretty bad wound, or uh, you could use it as shoelaces if you're hiking and something happens to your shoelaces, this comes in handy. There's actually like a million uses for this stuff. I don't even know all the uses for it, but it's really good to have on you. Look how easy it folds up goes right on my next item, which is the InReach Mini 2. This here is by Garmin. If you are going to be in Alaska or in the wilderness anywhere, you're probably not going to have cell phone service. And the risk of getting injured is moderate. I don't want to say it's high, but you know, if you're hiking, it's easy to roll an ankle or break your leg or something where life or death happens and there's no way for you to get back home. Hitting the SOS button on this would uh, save your life and have emergency teams come out and get you if you need that. Or if you need to catch up with your wife or ask how the baby's doing, you can have that. I pay for the $10 plan, it's $10 a month. And then if I use more text messages, I just pay the extra fee. I don't think I'm out enough to always be over texting and paying the $60 for the maximum thing. Pay for the minimum and then add whatever you need to it. So let's uh, put that away. I think this is nice because most of this stuff goes right on my bag. And that's another thing. It brings me over here in this slot. Now I, I have this as a photographer, depending in the summertime, if I'm going fishing or a lot or whatnot, uh, I'll have a pocket knife with me, like a Leatherman or some kind of multi-use thing. Right now, I don't plan on fishing or anything. It doesn't hurt to have a knife on me. I usually do, but I don't. I'm getting rid of the travel and I don't wanna forget a knife in my bag. So I'm um, not gonna have a knife on me, but I do have this multi-tool for cameras. It's got Phillips head, flathead, Allen keys on here and whatnot. So this is a really nice tool by Small Rig. And I like it because Half the time I'm putting on my camera on my tripod, which it is right now, and I noticed that I got a screw loose and it's all wobbly, wobbly. It's all wobbly. Having something to always tighten it, always fixing your tripod, always fixing the base plate on the camera, they get loose a lot. The small rig uh, cage that I have on my camera gets loose. Like I said, most of the time, this is also gonna be a knife as well. I'll probably just have two things in this pocket here. An essential need for photographers and people that wear glasses, not everyone's gonna need this, but when it's raining a lot, which it does here in Kodiak quite a bit, I picked a nice night to record this. I've actually been trying to record this video for three weeks now, and we finally get a good day to do it. So this is a lens cloth, a microfiber lens cloth. This thing is, um, Really nice, I actually got this at Storch Photoshop in Anchorage and it's really nice because it's big, 
and it works good. Some of them that I have kind of suck. They just smear. This one cleans and cleans really good. And my glasses, which actually are a little dirty right now, but also cleaning my lens cap. My lens cap gets wet, or not my lens cap, my lens itself gets wet a lot or the glasses get wet or foggy when it goes from cold to hot. So this thing um, definitely helps you. It could save my life actually if I'm out and uh, I can't see any bears coming at me, clean my glasses and oh look, there's a bear coming at me right now. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. So for me personally, and anyone that wears glasses or photographers have something like this. I also like to have some lens wipes with me too but at least a microfiber cloth for those essential needs. And now uh, I got a couple things in my bag that I want to show you guys that I need, um, that I use a lot. But one more thing that's on my bag and arguably the most important is water. Yep, this is just a Nalgene bottle with a uh, clip on there that's attached to my bag. And guys, I don't think a lot of people um, Underestimate water, I know everybody knows you need water, but here in Alaska, even in the summertime, it doesn't get super hot. So a lot of people might be hiking or out in the wilderness, they don't have water on them and dehydration creeps up on people a lot. And I think it happens here in Alaska quite a bit. So I like to have some water on me. I always have a water in the car and then I always have a water on my bag. It's just literally an everyday carry that I need. And it's almost like how my baby needs a toy to hold when she's upset. I need my water bottle. It's my emotionally support water bottle. I have a few of them and depending on my mood is the one I use. So that's the last thing on my bag. So that's pretty good. I mean, this bag holds quite a bit. But let me show you what I have in my bag that we need. Let's take this uh, big lens off. I was looking for a boreal owl here in uh, Kodiak, but they are very rare. Someone saw one on eBird. Another thing I love about this bag is, well, really the color. Uh, not all camera bags have to be black. I've always been someone that wore black, but I wanted something to stand out and this stands out. So just something to be different. It looks good in photos, I think, when you're out hiking. I love this roll top. You can either roll it from up here or you can have access here. This is where I keep my FPV drone, but I have a couple other things in here that I like to always have on me. And one is right here. This is, oh, that is my Avada battery. This is a headlamp. This is by Lead Lenser. They uh, helped us out when we went to Nome a couple years ago. If you're out in a trail or going out for Northern Lights, a lot of times you're gonna need a headlamp. I like a headlamp because I like to uh, be hands-free. You could use a flashlight too if you need. Um, some situations I do like a flashlight better, but having a headlamp at least, um, I know that when the darkness creeps up on you quick, you'll have something so you uh, don't trip. I've been out hiking and I've been out doing photography longer than I thought and by the time I start getting back onto the trail, it uh, is pretty, pretty dark. You might wanna see a bear's eyes reflecting in the light of your headlamp. I got another thing here, guys. It's actually a double. It's a bonus, okay? You guys might make fun of me, but you could use toilet paper. I love having baby wipes and also, Having a baby, you're always gonna need some baby wipes on you. But for me personally, I always feel a little bit cleaner using baby wipes. And uh, if I'm out in the wilderness somewhere, I'll tend to have like an extra bag so I'm not littering or anything. But baby wipes to feel nice and clean. If I'm traveling, God, this is like the best thing my wife has ever got me when I'm traveling is a Clorox, Clorox wipes for public bathrooms, like gas station bathrooms or outhouses along some state parks and whatnot or national parks um, they're really filthy and I'll, I'll take like a half a bag of this clean that thing from freaking head to toe before i use it and i, I feel a lot better more comfortable using public bathrooms with um, some clorox wipes or if i'm out on the trail I feel a lot cleaner using some baby wipes that is a definite definite must for me wow i just realized i that was the last thing on the list um all of them are equally as important. You know, some are a little more important than others in certain situations. There's some things on here that other people from Alaska might want on here. This is what I found for everyday use. Now, if I plan on going a multi-day hike or a multi-day outdoors adventure, I'm gonna obviously want food and a lighter and a jet boil. If I'm doing a day hike and I get stuck in some bad weather, if I get hurt or whatnot, and it takes a day or two for someone to come help me, well, 
I might just be out of food, but maybe run out of water if that isn't enough. I usually bring more water on longer hikes. All right, well, I hope that you guys found this video useful, whether you live in Alaska or moving here or just visiting, whether you're just traveling anywhere in the wilderness. My most recent purchase is the Garmin InReach Mini 2. I've went too long without having one. I risked too many things without having one. So I'm glad that I finally got one. I feel much more safer out in the wilderness, especially when I'm by myself. Let me know if you guys got anything off this list and uh, found anything useful. Uh, maybe the power cord, maybe the water, maybe just the water. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe if you like Alaska, and I have a lot of content, especially wildlife and drone stuff on my page. So I appreciate that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.